Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a Google map to your WordPress website. So let's go ahead and open up the web browser. And in the previous tutorials, we've been working on this little project. It's called Clean Co for a company that I'm working with. And we want to add a Google map. I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do that. So let's just go into the admin control panel and we will go to pages here and we can then click on add new page and in here we'll just give it a title let's just call it google map and then we'll click use default editor and i'll show you how to do it in divi builder afterwards so let's use default editor this is the gutenberg editor so we'll click on the plus sign here and like usual we can add our columns so let's click columns here and we can select different styles of columns right here uh, but we want to add a 3070 here this one so on this side we want some text so let's click here and then we'll just say paragraph and then we can type in an address right so i'm just going to make this up 44 top road let's just do like ilford IG2. and uh, we'll put in a telephone number here and let's just put in an email address right so you don't have to do this but it's nice that if uh, people want to contact you then there's some way of them contacting you and we will select that email address and let's just go ahead and make it a link open a new tab and now it's a mail to link let's click on this side here add block and we want to add code if you don't see code here click browse all and then click code here and then we've got the code editor here so we can just cut and paste in our code but normally i'll go into here and then uh click edit as html and you paste it in between the code block so what we want to do is get a google map so let's go to google uh let's go to google maps and then we'll click here and we can just find any map it doesn't really matter but you would find your relevant location so if you've got a business type in your business address and then you should if you register on google you should see your map here or you just have to type in the street address with the road number and then you'll see the map in there as well let's click share and let's click embed and it will click copy and i'm just going to paste that code into a blank notepad file so we've got it for reference so we can just copy it from here for later let's close this and go back to the map here close this go back to the, the the page editor and i'm going to cut and paste that code right in between the code tags here i'm going to paste that code in here and i'm going to click save draft i'm going to publish i'm going to save draft and we'll go to preview and click preview new tab and we should see the address here and the map on this side we want to get rid of this search bar down the side let's go back to pages here and then inside here we'll set to no sidebar and we'll click save draft refresh it and now we've got the address on this side and we've got the map on this side you can go and experiment with that you can go and edit the code to increase the map size or increase the text size you know just as you would in, in default um, wordpress but we can also build this in um, divi builder so let's try and do that let's just save this and then go back to wordpress let's go to add new page and this time we'll use divi builder to do that same job so let's go to let's type in uh, google let's type in google map divi right we we'll use the divi builder let's show you how to do it in here as well and we'll click build from scratch and we'll do this here so we want a narrow column and then a wider column and on this side here we want to add text so let's go ahead and type in text here and then we'll click the text module and then we can go over to this one here copy this text right from the the, the default page that we created in Gutenberg, and we can paste it in here and let's just accept that for the moment we'll go to this side here and we want to add code so we type in code let's click here and then we can copy the code from notepad and just paste it into here and we'll click accept here so we've got we basically got the same thing but built in divi builder now right let's go and improve this slightly let's um let's click on the cog here for the text let's go to design text here Let's set it to something like 18 i think will be sensible sort of size 18 let's make it slightly bigger let's go to animation let's go to the slide option and let's slide it in from the top here maybe slide it down i think it'd be better let's slide it down like this we'll click ok let's click on the map edit the icon here and we can make this map a bit wider right it's a bit narrow so let's set it to like 670 so that should be we can even go a bit wider than that so let's set it to 770 right something like this so the map's nice and wide now so we can see more of the map and then let's go into the editor let's go to design let's go to animation 
let's do also uh let's do a flip this time let's do flip let's flip it from probably let's see uh let's um let's flip it this way maybe we can do a fold let's do a fold let's fold upwards like this and we'll delay it by 500 milliseconds and we'll set the intensity to something like around 80 right something like this let's click ok and let's go ahead and click on here and click uh, save to draft and then we can exit the visual builder and then our address will slide down and then our map will flip up with our logo that remember we did the logo animation in the, the navigation here previously so now we can see that all animated together like this and i think it looks pretty good right so this looks okay and then in the default gutenberg editor you can go in write some more code some css to improve the text and improve the map size you can just go and edit that code to do that but that's kind of out of the scope of this tutorial it's just about showing you how to get the map working on um, wordpress uh, google map but we did it in divi builder and we've also done it in the default editor in wordpress okay let's go ahead and close this all down that's the end of this tutorial i hope you find it useful don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 600 free video tutorials. Right now I'm focusing mainly on WordPress stuff. So if you're interested in WordPress, you want to learn more about WordPress, feel free to write a comment in the YouTube commenting. Tell me what you want to learn in WordPress and I'll try and help you to understand how to do certain things in WordPress, right? Uh, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel. Uh, you can get access to lots of different tutorials on a diverse range of subjects for anything from 3d animation to word document editing to excel spreadsheets um, you know different graphic applications as well so it's quite a diverse channel with a lot of knowledge that i like to share um, and help you learn new skills which is very important last of all please give this uh, youtube video a thumbs up if you've liked it and that's the end of this tutorial i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial